In this video, I'll be introducing to you guys three top tools for louder bass, including the UC31 Ultra Capacitor by Ioxys and a 320 amp high output alternator from Mechman. I decided to incorporate these additional items after experiencing severe voltage drops in my system. And despite me currently having a dual AGM battery setup, I was still experiencing voltage drops near 11 volts. So if you would like to know what tools it takes to fix this, stick around. We got that and more coming right up. Not long ago, I introduced you guys to my 4,000 watt daily system. I showed you guys just how powerful a budget system can be. I even completed this with the Flex demo in the Impala. But what I failed to show you guys are the actual SPL numbers to back it up. So let's get the SPL meter connected and see what numbers two VXF12s can put up. I'm shooting for an SPL score of 145 decibels, but I'm not getting anywhere near that. Let's check the voltage and see if we're getting stable power. Whoa, 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 this is dangerous right here. The last thing that you want to do is have your electrical system placed under this type of stress. It's apparently time for me to remove these subwoofers and rethink my electrical system. So let's head back to the lab and do some much needed research. Okay guys, because we have two of these installed inside one of these, we're actually gonna be needing one of these along with one of these to assist with what's under the hood with one of these. If you are enjoying this video and would like to learn a little bit more about how to simplify car audio, please consider clicking that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Coming in at number three, we have AGM batteries. Adding extra batteries is the most common method most would use to upgrade stock electrical. But please be aware, choosing this as your first method severely limits you as you grow your system. The two batteries I have has served me well during my single subwoofer installation. But with more subwoofers and a lower final impedance, the stock electrical system is suffering. You see, with my single sub setup, the electrical system sees a final impedance of four ohms. The amplifiers share that load and maintain an output of about 1500 watts individually. But with a dual subwoofer setup, the electrical system sees a final impedance of two ohms. And at 1% THD, each amplifier is outputting about 2000 watts RMS. And as most of us have heard before, with great power also comes great responsibility. So if you're adding these extra batteries, please be cautious of your fusing and wire locations. But unfortunately for me, this current setup has now outgrown this methodology and now requires an upgrade solution that incorporate a newer technology. Coming in at number two, we have ultra capacitors. The use of ultra capacitors in car audio isn't something that's new to the market. They've been used as a buffer between batteries and amplifiers for as long as I can remember. Ioxys capitalized on this concept when designing the UC31. 
And as the name entails, it's modeled after the car battery group size 31. The UC31 is a bank of super caps designed to look and install like a battery. When I say super caps, I mean super capacitors, and this is definitely not a battery. Internally, the UC31 has a total of eight of these supercapacitors. Individually, each capacitor has a rating of 3,000 farads. But when wired in series, capacitance is divided by the total of capacitors in line, bringing the UC31 to a final capacitance of 375 farads. This ultra capacitor is a smart tech solution previously designed for the off-road community but its Bluetooth capability and mobile application make it attractive to us in car audio. From a handheld device, the UC31 can be programmed at the push of a button. It's proven tough enough for commercial vehicles and can even jumpstart a cold dead battery. From the mobile application, you can check your voltage and even switch between different power modes. It even has a regulated voltage program in between 13 and 15 volts. And when exceeding these values, the UC31 has an automatic shutoff feature. This prevents an overcharge in terms of safety and maintaining the integrity of the capacitor. Coming in at number one, we have alternators. When it comes to car audio systems, most would probably say the same thing. Your alternator is the workhorse of the system, and if affordable, should be replaced first. When sourcing for an alternator, the same name kept being repeated, so I followed the advice of the community and purchased my alternator from Mechman. For a little more than 500 bucks, I purchased a 320 amp Elite. It took more than two weeks to receive, but I told this was standard because they are custom built. The Elite alternators offer the highest possible amperage with 12 diodes supporting durability. This is a hairpin alternator with six phase technology combined with two rectifiers. Engine idle speeds are rated at 200 amps. Cruising speeds are rated 320 plus. But please note that this alternator has a smaller diameter pulley, which requires a shorter belt. Please join me in the next video when I install and compare these components. Will the ultra capacitor be a better solution than the second AGM battery or is there more to learn from these two technologies than what is written on paper? Hopefully watching me do this will bring you value and simplify your experiences. So please like the video and go and get subscribed so that you don't miss any videos in this series. Thanks for visiting the channel to help you simplify car audio. It's the Budget Bass here and I'm out.